Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject database management system is 3NF. In the previous videos, I explained about uh, first normal form and the second normal form. Now coming to third normal form. So what is this 3NF? So actually in 3NF, all non-key attributes of a table must be functionally dependent on candid keys. That is suppose if you take any table, so a table consisting of set of attributes. So these are the attributes. So here, let's take this as a key, key attribute. So this the remaining uh, items are called as a non-key attributes. So here in 3NF, all non-key attribute must be functionally dependent on a candidate key or else you can see that. First, let me write that point. All non-key attributes of a table must be functionally dependent on candidate key that is there can be no interdependency interdependencies uh, no interdependencies among among non key attributes among non key attributes so here there can be no interdependency so these are the non key attributes there is, there can be no interdependency among these non key attributes only all these non key attribute must be functionally dependent on a candidate key so if any 3nf if a the normal form must be in 3NF means it has to follow some points. That is, a 3NF should be, it is in 2NF. So, the first is, the table should be converted into 2NF. Second normal form. And next, there is no, there is no transitive function dependency. So, the one thing you have to be remember that in the third normal form, uh, the first you have to convert that table into second normal form and there is no transitive functional dependency. So, what is a transitive functional dependency? If A determines B, B determines C, then A should determine C via B. This is a transitive dependency formula. Okay. So, this condition is not exist uh, in the 3NF. So, the 3NF, there is no transitive functional dependency. So, if whenever if table is in this, uh, is following the transitive functional dependency, you have to convert that table into uh, non-transitive dependency. Let me take some example, then you will clearly understand uh, how I am dividing the table, uh, converting the table into 3NF. Let me take one example. Let's take book details. Book detail. Okay. So, book ID. Book ID. And uh, general ID. And general type. And the price. Okay. So, these are the attributes that are present in the table. And let me take the fields for this all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the general ID I am taking 1, 2, 1, 3, 2. And the general type is science, max, science, physics and max. Okay. And the prices for those are suppose that 30, 35. Uh, 25 20 30 so these are the prices for these books okay so this is a table which is uh, not in 3nf how can i say this is not in 3nf because here this book id so this is a book id this this book id determines the general id because this is a unique value so this i am taking it as a key attribute so, this book ID is a key attribute. So, book ID determines the general ID and the general ID, general ID determines the general type. 
Jenner type means here the Jenner type is functionally dependent on Jenner ID and the Jenner ID is functionally dependent on book ID. Okay. And book ID. This book ID is determines the Jenner ID. So Jenner type via Jenner ID. So this table is uh, following these conditions. So here the book ID determines Jenner ID. Jenner ID determines Jenner type. Book ID determines Jenner type via Jenner ID. It looks like A determines B, B determines C and A determines C via B. So this table is in transitive dependency means existing transitive functional dependency. So now, now I want to uh, make this table to 3NF. So let decompose this table. Decompose. Decomposing this table. So I'm just dividing this table to make it this table as a 3NF. So I'm taking two fields for this. So here I'm taking a uh, book one table and Jenner ID is uh, Jenner is one table and the fields for this tables are book ID, Jenner ID and the price and the fields for this Jenner table are Jenner ID and Jenner type. So here I am just decomposing this table into two tables uh, so that it the table will satisfy the the 3NF condition. So here the fields for this are book ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the general ID is 1, 2, 1, 3, 2 and the relating price for those books is 25, 20, 30. So here you can observe that uh, the book ID determines general ID. Okay. So the book ID determines uh, here this book ID is acting is a primary key. Let's take this is a primary key. So here the now all non-key attributes. What are non-key attributes? General ID and the price. So these non-key attributes are fully functionally dependent on the primary key. So both general ID and the price depends upon the uh, book ID. So it's satisfying the first condition that is it is in 2NF. Okay, it is in 2NF and there is no transitive functional dependency on this table because all non-key attributes is depends upon the, uh, fully functional depends upon the primary key attribute. Okay, this table is in 3NF and the same way here also the general ID is 1, 2, 3 and for 1 it's having 1 is signs. Here also the one is sign. So we are taking only one value because the, it eliminates the redundancy. The main aim of this third normal form is to eliminate the redundancy. And two is here you are having the two, uh, two general IDs, two numbers and they are related to max. So just write one max for general ID two and three is physics. So here this uh, in this table this is acting as a key attribute. Okay, and this is a non-key attribute. The non-key attribute is fully functionally dependent on the key attribute. So this is also in 3NF. So this is how you have to decompose the table. Uh, so whatever the table that is there, which is having the redundant data. So this is the redundant data. So which is having the redundant data. Okay, so that data... Uh, to eliminate this redundancy, we are decomposing this table into two tables so that the redundant data will be eliminated and also it follows the conditions that uh, all the non-key attributes is fully functionally dependent on the primary key and here there is no transitive dependency uh, will be exist. Okay, so this is about the 3NF. Thank you.